Hi, right, Stock Missile fans. Another review of my previous channel from the Euroshock collection. It's the awful Dr. Orloff. Let's check it out. This is a closet. Not what you usually expect to find there. That dude is named Morpho, and he's uh, kidnapping some women for this Dr. Orloff. Case of fire, case number 3253. It's an epidemic. That's the case of the four women who disappeared, isn't it? No, he made it by his skin. What about my Ah, oh, it's perfect. So soft and fresh. I believe that's Dr. Orloff. Can I keep you waiting so long? Huh? Wait, well, take it now. Oh, some more champagne, dear. All right. So yeah, he's taking this nice young lady back to his abode. She's fascinated at first, but then she becomes locked in. Open the door! He's scared me! Open the door! And then that dude Morpho shows up. Then she gets caught. What the hell is Dr. Orloff and Morpho doing? You know the doctor likes skin. Now we meet Melissa, his daughter. She has a problem with her face. She used to be beautiful and now she's been scarred and burned or something. Melissa. My child, just be patient a while longer. I'll save you, my dear. I shall make you just as beautiful as you were before. So what is it? He's been mistreating you, Morpho. <clears throat> yes, I know you're afraid, but you must not be. He's only a man, a man who must die someday like all mortals. Well, that's helpful. Notify us if you go anywhere. We might need you again. Yes, sir. I find any trace of fingerprints? No, sir. No, much taller, and his face was a great deal well, Some people face. have seen whoever the killer is, which we know is Morpho. Now? Now we seem to have two versions. What the doctor's doing is having Morpho kill women who have nice skin, so he can try to maybe graft them onto his daughter's face to heal her, fix her. But he has not yet been successful at anything he's been trying. One more victim for you. He's from girls. Apparently dead bodies don't work. Dead cells. That's why I always failed. That's what was wrong. And from now on, I must use grafts from living women only. And then my triumph will be complete. What do you want? Please forgive me. I think her name is Wanda. I mistook you for someone else. Someone who's terribly ill. It was strange how much you resemble that girl. You better tell me the truth. No ifs and buts. You know what's good for you. I don't know what you mean by good, but go right ahead. How did you get this necklace? I caught it, Inspector. Caught it out of a lady's handbag. Chess Franco directed this movie, and I believe that's him. Raymond, I'm ready. Soon that lady becomes our next victim. Come, Morpho. So this time he keeps the victim alive, and I can't show it to you, but because he's going to show some nudity here, but he's going to cut some piece from her breast. By the way, that's the heat of the sun. Remember, it won't cost anything. Go take a look out there. Believe me, it's worth it. It's a spooky place. You don't look like someone who scares easy. One second, woman. What woman? She's the image of my daughter. Yes, she's just as beautiful as Melissa. I'm sure that if I can get her here... I won't have to look for any more subjects. She doesn't exactly agree with Dr. Orloff. And she pays the price for that. These were found at the boathouse, and they were made recently. Fingerprints. We found out who they belonged to. And Morpho Lochner, sentenced to be hanged for the murder of his father and for several other violent crimes. On the 12th of May, 1905, the man died in prison of a heart attack you look very distinguished, you're in luck. 
Show me the way. In gray 23, section number 8. Well, it should be easy to go out there and have a look and see if our friend is still there. Sergeant? That's a clever idea, and it's extremely important. I believe that's Morkel's grave. He was supposed to be dead, which we know he isn't. And of course, there's nobody in it. Nearing the end of our film now. What have they done to you? Morkel finds the body of her. He attacks Dr. Orloff. What have you done, Martha? And kills him. The authorities arrive. Morpho climbs up to the castle roof and with Wanda. shot to take but it works. That's our film. All right, let's talk about the doctor, I'm sorry, the awful Dr. Orloff. I thought it was called uh, Gritos en la Roche. Noche. Yeah, directed by Jess Franco, 1962. Uh, I read on IMDb, they sometimes consider this the first Spanish horror film. Um, and Jess Franco, true to form, threw a couple of news in there, even though it was 1962, so good for him. What we got here is a pretty creepy tale, actually, and it's uh, very stylish and uh, well-made, I think. Uh, one of his better films, you know, he did a lot of exploitation stuff in the late 60s, 70s, 80s, uh, the rest of his life, basically. Um, um, but this one is actually a pretty quality film, if you ask me. Um, black and white movie, uh, we have this guy named Dr. Orloff, who used to be a prison doctor, and uh, his daughter, Melissa, is alive, but... I don't know, something happened to her face. It's scarred, burnt, whatever, like half of her face is. It's all messed up. I don't, if, if there was, if they explained how it happened, I missed it. But anyway, he wants to fix her up. And uh, the reason, the way he does this, he figures, well, I need some new skin uh, to do some skin grafts, I guess. So he has this guy named Morpho, who was apparently in prison when he was there. And uh, he was scheduled to be hung. He was a killer, I guess. Uh, but allegedly he had a heart attack and died three days before he was supposed to be hung, but he didn't die. Uh, in fact, he, uh, was basically let out by Dr. Orloff and, um, nobody knows that. So Orloff is basically controlling Morpho. He has Morpho go out and kill women, nice young women who have good skin. And he keeps trying to like, uh, fix, use the skin. He, tear, after they, they kill the bodies, he takes the skin, tries to fix his daughter. Nothing it takes, nothing works. Eventually, he figures out, well, maybe I need live skin from a live body to do this. So he gets this other woman, um, cuts skin from around her breasts, and uh, uses that. That doesn't work either. Eventually, uh, the police find some fingerprints, and they track it down to that of Morpho. They're like, this guy died seven years ago. What's going on there? They dig up his grave. They find he's not there. They eventually piece it all together that Orloff and Morpho are working together. They don't know why all these people are being killed and, and everything, but um, they, they, they're they right. They figured out. Uh, meanwhile, there's this woman who lives with Dr. Or, 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 Orloff. I uh, can't remember what her name was, uh, but... Uh, she got killed by Dr. Orloff. It was kind of an accident. She just kind of, she knew what Orloff was doing, didn't really approve of it. Uh, they got into a little scuffle and she like, her neck broke or something. I don't know. He hid the body, but Morpho was very close to her. And later on in the film, near the end, when Morpho discovers her body, he freaks out, goes after Dr. Orloff and kills him. Uh, then he takes his girl, I think her name was Wanda, who was supposed to be like the last subject, climbs up onto the top of the castle with her. The police show up and they shoot him. She, he drops her, and then he falls off the building, and he dies, and that's the end of our film, The Awful Dr. Orloff. Now, they made a couple of other Orloff movies, uh, which were, I don't know if they were official sequels or pseudo-sequels. I have no idea if Franco directed them or not, but there was two or three after this one. Um, yeah, never saw them, don't know anything about them, but whatever. Anyway, uh, this movie, again, I think this was a pretty good movie. This is the kind of movie that, to me, plays like a uh, like a, a late-night um 
you know, when you're a kid on the local television, Friday night, Saturday night horror host type of stuff, you'd see something like this. It kind of has that atmosphere to it. But it's a pretty good atmosphere, if you ask me. It's kind of film that I think if you saw as a kid, you'd remember it for a long time because it's it's decent. It's good. So, again, uh, 1962 film, but there's still a couple of newsies in it. So, it was just a... Uh, of what was to come uh, from Jess Franco himself, who has a small role in this movie, by the way, too. So anyway, that's it. Short film, 83 minutes. Actually, it says 1964 in here. I thought it was 62, but I guess it's 64. I have this on this DVD from this Euroshock collection here, which Image put out many, many years ago. Um, it's pristine condition, actually, but uh, I have a feeling there's a Blu-ray out there of, of this thing now. and Maybe there's some sequels on the same copy. I don't know. But anyway, good movie. You should definitely check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments. It's the awful Dr. Orloff. Watch it. Bye.